Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on with me. Okay, so this one's for Mother's Day. So, happy Mother's Day. So I thought we'd just take a moment to, um, to bless our mothers. Our mothers who are with us every day. Our mothers who, um, who aren't with us anymore. Uh, the, uh, those who became our mothers. And uh, the mothers uh, we miss, or the mothers we wish the very best. So I, I've got this great deck of cards called the Good Tarot, and it's um, this is Colette Baron Reed who came up with this deck. And so it's very again nice box. We've got um, some very good instructions here for these cards, and um, it's readable and uh, something that's very useful in, in helping you find uh, your divination, uh, you know, in a deck. So, good tarot. I like it. Then, the cards themselves are nice, um, uh, soft, um, encouraging images, uh, so you won't have any um, uh, untoward uh, surprises in these cards. Um, they're thoughtful, and uh, they're beautiful, and uh, they're very emotional, actually. Uh, the colors just evoke some kind of uh, passion, as far as I can that's what comes to mind for me. So um, we'll stack these up and just have a nice general read for, for mom, you know, uh, whoever mom is. Um, so we leave that up to you. You figure out how this read gets directed, but it's only for the very best of intentions. Really put some time into considering uh, how to make this uh, happen. And so the best thing that you can do, as always, is just clear your mind, set your best intention forward, ask for protection if that's uh, something that you feel you can do, and um, take a deep breath. And let's see what the cards tell us for today, this Mother's Day. So these are huge cards, and uh, but the uh, advantage is you kind of feel like you've got some uh, control over them. Um, Sometimes when they're smallish, you don't feel like that. I wonder uh, if that's what a mother would say about her kids. <laughs> so let's try to get our intentions toward uh, our moms and uh, our mom's best um, self. And uh, see if we can't come up with a meaningful read for this Mother's Day. I really want to get these cards loosened up because it's been some time since I've used them. And I've just been sitting in there uh, getting compressed and not loosening up. So let's see what we can do to help along that along that path. Okay. I'm gonna spread them out. We'll do a full Celtic cross for mom. This is one, two. Three, four, five, and finally six. So that looks like that works pretty well for me. I'm um, going to leave these right over here because we'll need to get some more of those in just a moment. Finish off this Celtic cross, but we have a six here. And for this day, for Mother's Day, for Mom, whoever Mom is for you, um, the signifier card is going to be the fool. <laughs> and uh, any of our mothers uh, might have thought this uh, before they were a mom. And when they were just taking those first steps uh, into motherhood, um, whether it was uh, by design or, or by plan or by, by happenstance, um, you know, that is the beginning of a journey. And this fool, this mother, this new mother, you know, let's, let's everybody remember our mothers, our grandmothers, uh, those mothers that are in our lives right now, they had a whole full life up until this moment. So they were a complete person uh, until that moment. And then they became uh, someone else on this beautiful journey. This is really a beautiful depiction of a mom. So there we go. 
Now the challenge to that is going to be huh, the uh, eight of Earth, and so this would be Earth would be Pentacles worth, uh, or I'm sorry, the ten of Earth, and uh, so this is really happy, happy, happy family, and uh, that would be a challenge uh, to uh, any uh, mom or potential mom. And we can see this mother uh, here with her uh, pet, and uh, and she even has wings right here, but at the same time she seems to have some horns uh, also. So uh, this ten of Earth really shows us um, that uh, the challenge on this journey is to end up uh, with that uh, happy family. So the uh, basis of a reading uh, for today is the Seven of Fire. And the Seven of Fire is a Seven of Wands. And this is an amazing Seven of Wands. Look at this thing. So we got, I guess these sparkles, these, these falling stars um, is what I take them for. It must be the Seven of Wands uh, represented. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There we go. And um, and the Seven of Wands represents sort of having uh, those uh, obstacles um, in control, or in this uh, instance, they're at least at bay for this uh, for this uh, reading. So any mom uh, maybe could say that uh, yeah, that's the the, the situation. Get these things uh, in in under at least some sort of a control. The pass for this reading then is the Five of Fire, and the Five of Fire is the Five of Wands, and so we're talking about uh, disappointment, and um, but this this uh, mother and this. Uh, five of, of fire uh, does seem to have this situation uh, in somewhat control in that uh, recent past. So the sky for this reading then is going to be the wheel of fortune. And yeah, it's a crab shoot. You know, that's what life is. I love it that this is topped off with this big uh, emblazoned heart at the very top for this special day. It almost looks like a medallion uh, for, uh, you know, uh, those mothers out there. So, and here's a fellow peeking over the edge. And so the, the Wheel of Fortune is just, uh, I like to say, it's always uh, taking us off on a happy spin. Now, the uh, uh, finish for this part of this Celtic cross, then, is going to be the Page of Water. And, you know, the page is bringing a message of emotion, of compassion. And we hope um, that um, somewhere uh, the mothers uh, that are coming or that have been uh, uh, get this message and, uh, uh, and bring it. Uh, with them uh, on their journey. So this is uh, the first part of the Celtic cross. It's the beginning of a journey uh, of the good earth, um, getting everything in control, uh, understanding your obstacles. The wheel of fortune is turning your, in your direction, and you just started off on this journey uh, with this page of uh, water and emotion. So for the last four cards, we're going to go just like this and take uh, the first one from right here. Okay, so this is going to be the four of fire. And the four of fire. So the four of wands is kind of um, celebration, smallish celebrations. And you can see that that's exactly what this angel is doing. She's playing a flute. Uh, she's very comfortably uh, loft on this beautiful uh, natural bridge, you would almost say. And then uh, so the four represented by the uh, four lanterns above, four of fire, four of wands. So, yeah, it's a smaller celebration, uh, but certainly uh, one worth having. But the environment that that's in for today is uh, the two of fire. And... You know the two of fire is two of wands, and so it's it's planning. It's it's the, could could be the beginnings of a plan or the beginnings of a long term plan. But there's something here in this two of fire right here, one of them is prominent, one is been set in place, and so it's looking to what will this uh, plan be. So that's what that's in the environment of. And then for the hopes and the fears of this uh, is going to be, wow, we're all about uh, fire today. Is the page of fire, and so we had the page of uh, water. Uh, right here, but uh, now she's followed up with the page of fire because uh, you know this motherhood situation ain't stopping. You know it's a it's a train going forward, and so you better have your emotions in there, and you better be ready for uh, the ride. So there we go with the page of fire, and then the likely outcome for this reading for this Mother's Day is the four of Earth, and the four of Earth is the four pinnacles, and the four pinnacles, and good God, she looks like Mother Earth. And uh, the Four of Pentacles is holding on to what you've got. You know, you just want to get them raised up. You just want to hold on to whatever this little world uh, that you built for you and your uh, your uh, your kid or your kids. Um, you know, just hang on to it. Is usually uh, the case. And uh, it may be uh, material. It may be emotional. It may be uh, actually physically uh, moving. But uh, yeah, so that's the story. Just hang on, moms. It'll all be fine. Well, I like the way that ended up with the uh, four of Earth, the four pinnacles for, um, you know, just, just hang on. 
That's the best sometimes you can do. Well, I'm Mark. This is my journey through tarot. Thank you so much, very much for coming along. And um, God bless you and God bless all the mothers out there. Ciao for now. So this one's for you, Mom. I love you.